What's in you? Therapy cat. Um. Aww, actually, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> I should probably put these horns on Velvet because she's totally evil. No, well, it actually could look kind of silly. She's also an angel. Hey, can I put a demon at the same time, actually? I can. <laughs> I can be your angel or your devil. <laughs> I actually really seriously need to fight these enemies. The video has been going on for almost an hour and a half now, but uh, uh, I need to get back uh, all the um, money I just lost. Also, Velvet has defenses now, so although she doesn't deal as much damage because she doesn't have the garish pink shirt anymore, but she probably can survive a couple of hits from these enemies. It takes like three times less damage, I want to say. Direfo! Hi! Been a while! <laughs> Thankfully I won't miss out on this one. It's about time you actually did this, uh, Velvet. I know it's an enemy that blocks very often, but geez. Also, yeah, I couldn't restore myself on each shells, unfortunately. Good, and it barely dealt enough damage to get most of it uh, held down. That's terrible. This can take some time. Dead. Ha! Parry! Uh, at 1 HP, I parried both of the gliders' attack. Damn it. Okay, let's see if you can actually get it off this time. Can't I hear? What is he doing? Okay, uh when I said do this, I mean now. I guess it's because it's not activated, that's why he's not going to cast it? Oh, that's lame. That's why he does uh, quickness instead. Anyway, an enemy is on him right now, so there's not going to be enough time to, for him to revive me with resurrection, so... It's time to die! Oh my god. Fly Ugh. away, little birdie. Far away. Yeah, fly away. I was disgraceful to die at the end like that, but it was a long and tough boss. All right. I think I might just split this video at this rate, because it's going to be a two-hour session. So if I split the video at any point, I just don't, don't realize exactly when. Okay, let's finish this dungeon right now. Maybe not. Um, let's see. Okay, not much else to do. <laughs> Probably gonna be a few enemies on the way, but I'm gonna try to, try to ignore the them. acting? She's calm. It looks like letting her in on the truth worked as well as we thought it might. Good. Maybe she'll be easier to control now. Hi. Halt! Who are 
for you. Damn it. Oh no! What the hell? Uh, okay, that was dumb. I, I don't think Aizen was as being as much of a help as uh, he could have right there. I don't know why, but his strategy seems to be to just stay back and do spells right now. And if he's gonna do spells, I might as well put in Love Set. Let's do this properly now. And keep staying on top of them before they cast their stupid spells. Oh, this stupid waterfall. Or whatever it is. It's always what ends us. Oh my god! Finally! So that's all that the Malachim finally got him rid of. No, 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 no. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah, it's this spell right there that they keep casting. It hits super hard despite the fact that the... Uh, they, they already had a bunch of strong spellcasters. It's ridiculous. Look at this nonsense. Okay. Since she's down. Yeah, go to you. Then switch out. Oh, of course I can't switch out. Why would I be able to switch out? Yeah, okay. Now I've done that. Switch to Aizen. Uh, I have two characters down, no more life bottles. He can revive some ca Oh my god, never mind. I'm down to one character! Look at this! Why is it able to do that? Why is it that the most dangerous ones are the ones that are actually always up on your face most of the time? Can't believe this generic battle is so difficult. <sighs> Let me see what I can do. I might actually have to use the All Divide in order to make sure that my characters don't get nuked by that dumb spell all the time because it sends them flying where they can't do anything and it hits them multiple times every time it uh they get hit so what am i supposed to do parry it every time One person down. Five, my son, please. Ah, oh, damn it. I was on top of them for quite a bit of time, but... I got rid of at least one of the dumb spellcasters at the very least.
Cool. Two people. Two of the uh, spellcasters, the, the, the dumb Pearsons, got him rid of. This should help a lot more. So basically, I just had to focus on the right targets. In this case, it was the people. Just play as Velvet, continuously consume claws so you don't die no matter how hard they hit you. And stay on top of them, and uh, assuming things go well, you'll keep getting a stun out of your combo, which means you can use Consuming Claw again. So that's basically the gist of this fight. And if any of your uh, uh, allies uh, go down, have them uh, revive each other before it gets too terrible. And that was a generic fight. Can't believe I had so much trouble. Oh, on a more positive note. New cooking level. Four star recipe attribute. That should be the end of those stupid skills. <laughs> like seriously, they're just boring. Like the thing is, all their, the only effect they do is that occasionally you won't ha be using the ingredients to, to the recipe. And I think it only works when... Uh, there's a thing somewhere. I think it only works when you're not auto-cooking, so... Uh, that's even kind of dumber. Um, okay, there's one of these things. The other one is probably on the other side and I just missed it. Yep. Figured the design of this room would have something to do with uh, the surrounding area, or basically proceeding with the game. Also, oh, there's a chest I missed somewhere. A life bottle is really good right now. I'm guessing there's a chest in this room as well. Or upstairs, I guess. Don't know how I missed it, but hopefully it wasn't too, anything too important. It's also possible in the, it's in this next room, maybe. No, when doesn't count as the same thing. Well, almost been two hours now, but I'm pretty sure I split this video. Am I gonna have to leave first? No, actually, there's. Well, I need to find four of these things. And it's not very difficult. <laughs> but before proceeding, let's see what's over here. Ah, okay. So that's how you connect these rooms. There. Hi. A barrier. She's a Therian. Third time's the charm, eh, kid? Yeah.
she's not gonna come quietly, is You're she? You're Medusa. I am. And who might you be? We're like you. We carry grudges against the Abbey. And Shepherd Artorias. It's gonna be okay. We came to get you out of here, Medissa. There's no escape. What? Please, don't give up. I can... No, you don't understand. There's no escape for you. If you dare sully Shepherd Artorias's ideals and the light the Abbey shines upon the world, I will kill you all! Generic snake enemies, really? They die in like one, well, one combo, I want to say. Well, since these are snakes, I'm guessing she's going to be like a, a Lamia or a Medusa, yeah. Yeah, now it's Sea Serpent, so we're going to be going through all of the snake levels. Like, the, the, the snake versions. Or not, never mind. They just keep coming. That snake woman keeps summoning them. If we don't go after her directly, there'll be no end to it. Your left hand. <laughs> don't tell me you're the calamity. Why are you doing this, Medissa? Why fight for the Abbey after they forced you to become a Therian? They didn't. I became one of my own free will. But your daughter, slain in an exorcist's hands! You must hate the Abbey for that, don't you? Oh, I feel hate. Toward a world where demons spawn from the people's malevolence. You know about malevolence? The exorcist told me the truth. Diana turned into a demon because of the malevolence she radiated. I knew what I had to do. Become a Therian and devour malevolence so that such a tragedy would never repeat itself. It matters not what dreadful form my body may take. I will revive Enominot and change this wretched world! Yep! If that's how it is, fine. We'll take you by force. And rock golems as well. Kill them all! I'm just gonna help you real quick, my son. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Mystic Guard right now before I die and uh, lose all of my PG. Not to mention, using the basic Mystic Guard does give you one uh, bar back for attacking. Oh, that was what uh, all the raw golems could do. Okay, good. Don't let her hit you with that. Anyway, yeah, that was uh, uh, Magilu's uh, second Mystic Art. Good to see the AI can, in fact, do them. Ow! Okay, there's no petrification status. She can summon more snakes, but snakes aren't very dangerous. Oh, well, no, there is a petrification status. Can you get out of it? I think it lasts 15 seconds, actually. I, I I could heal myself right now with the, the one of allies, but I, I want to see if it wears off. It does. Okay. 
it's not like the old games where the effect was permanent. It's actually really good that she summons uh, brownies because we can use those, those things to actually restore our uh, souls and BG and whatever. Soul burst. Ow! Uh, she's getting serious. And she petrified me again. I'm not gonna wait around this time, though. Mystic Art number two for Eleanor. Uh, no, don't petrify my girlfriend. Ow! To get her in debt, Eleanor. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna run away. Save. Crap. Oh, we have to get rid of the other enemies? Fair enough. Well, that's convenient. It's over. Curse you, Lord of Calamity. Lord of Calamity? That's the name of the Demon Lord who will bring about the Age of Chaos. The unrepentant embodiment of malevolence, whose blind pursuit of self-gratification will rain destruction upon the world. The irredeemable, uncontrollable personification of human sins. An evil like you! Demon, Therian, Lord of Calamity, call me whatever you like. But if I'm the supposed Lord of Demons, then you're just a minion to be used as I please. Nothing more. No, I refuse. What happened to my Diana was my fault. That's why I will fight you until my dying breath. Stop! Don't get in my way. No, enough mothers have died. I won't let you join them. Eleanor and Kamawana, they both lost their mothers too. It's a terrible thing. Kamawana? A little girl that the Abbey forcefully made into a Therian. Her mother tried to save her, but she failed. All she could do was to offer her own life to fill her child's empty stomach. <sighs> Kamawana's been crying ever since. She misses her mother. If you die here, I can only imagine how sad that would make your Diana. Diana! You don't need me anymore, Mom. I get it. You love this new dad more than your own daughter! No, honey. I did it for you. But you really thought I stopped loving you. And the malevolence made you into a demon. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Diana. Medusa. She'll oh my god, her name even sounds like Medusa. I should have figured. Let's grab her and haul her back. I'll place her under a binding art, just in case. Hmm. Gotta hand it to the Abbey. Very resourceful, taking advantage of Medusa's regrets like that. Making her into a Therian who would do their bidding. It's... Just so cruel. Who cares? Reason above all, no. It's true. The way I feel goes against all reason. 
There's no telling what'll happen to Helopis once we take Medissa out of here. And yet I'm doing exactly that, all on account of my own hang-ups. Even crushing Medissa's honest resolve. According to reason, malevolence is the fault of the individual. You assume no responsibility or guilt for what happens to them. I refuse to turn a blind eye to the consequences of my actions. I chose this path to seek the truth, not to deny it. If I'm to betray reason, then that is the very least I should do. You're too much, you know that? You and Medissa both. Quit overthinking things. Just blame all the suffering on the Lord of Calamity. Makes life easier. Velvet, I... I'm not trying to cheer you up. I'm just saying it doesn't bother me. Whatever's coming, I can handle it. Unlocks all three random skills? What? What's that supposed to mean? Anyway, it's been over two hours, but as I said, I probably split the video, so it's fine. Perfect. And I got nothing new out of it, of course. Uh, we're gonna look up for a safe point and then stop the video, though. Where are we supposed to go now, anyway? Titania. Okay. To be honest, there's probably going to be a bunch of cutscenes once we get to Tanya, Tanya. So, I think I'll just look up for a save one and stop the video there. I guess the towns aren't going to be doomed just yet. But yeah, that's it for this video. Next time we're uh, going to head to Titania. As if the game doesn't force us to go directly to Titania right away, though, we'll actually go back to Reneed, to Riverdale, and we'll also collect the Black Nordal. And I hope you've all enjoyed these last two videos, I assume. And hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye!